Bibles. My name is Bonnie and this is Bible Time with Bonnie. Bible Time with Bonnie is about the Bible, which is my favorite book and so much more than a book. This is the Word of God. And today's verse is found in the book of John. John chapter 14 verse 6 says, Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. John chapter 14, verse 6. This is a chalk drawing that Pastor Jerry drew showing us that Jesus is the way. Let's say that verse together again. John chapter 14, verse 6. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. It's really important to know where we are going so we don't get lost. Jesus made it very clear that he was the only way to heaven. And so that is a really important thing to know. Let's say our verse one more time. John chapter 14, verse 6. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Good job, everyone. Would you like to try and draw a picture of Jesus with me today? That would be fun. You can pause this program and go get a piece of paper and a pencil or a marker and come back and we'll draw a picture of Jesus together. So we are going to start with kind of a square shape. And then a little triangle at the bottom. Then we're going to take, a lot of drawing is just shapes. That's what Pastor Jerry used to tell me. And uh, so this, this is basically uh, kind of like a rectangle, but it's bigger at the bottom. So how are we doing so far? Then we're going to draw some arms. We'll just go up like this. There you go. Now we're going to put in Jesus' sash. So we just make lines across like that and then like this. Let's put in some hands. Jesus had hands. I wonder what it'd be like to see Jesus in person. Hmm, looks kind of funny hand, but that's okay. All right, we're going to make uh, Jesus' hair and we're going to give him a beard. A lot of the men wore beards back then. Well, a lot of them wear beards today. But and to make his eyes, we're simply going to make a straight line and a dot underneath. Think that looks like eyes? And of course, Jesus needs a nose and a mouth. I think he needs some more hair, don't you? Hmm. Now let's give Jesus some feet. There we go. If you would like to send your picture of Jesus to me, I would like to see it. At the end of this program, you can find my address and just put your picture in a little envelope and send it to me and I will send you a note back. I promise. That was a lot of fun. Thank you. Hey, boys and girls, I'm going to invite you to sing along with me and Purple Pal. Purple Pal is here to help us sing this song. It says, if you believe in Jesus, you will have life. That's right. If you believe in Jesus, you will have life. If you believe in Jesus, you will have life. What kind of life? Life eternal, life abundant, life forever and ever. If you believe in Jesus, you will have life. That's good singing, everybody. I'm going to 
invite you to maybe get up and dance along. Hey, Purple Pal. Can you dance? Of course you can. Everybody can dance. Do you believe in Jesus? I do. So let's sing it. Well, I do believe in Jesus, so I have life. Hey boys and girls, I'd like to introduce you to my new friend, Katie. This is Katie. Hi everyone! Oh, I'm so excited I'm going on a big trip. You'll never guess. A big trip? Are you going to grandma's? Or are you going to the zoo? Or maybe the theater? No, 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 not grandma's. But you would like it there. She makes delicious chocolate chip cookies. They are so good. Yummy, yummy, yummy. So you're not going to grandma's house. No, nope, I'm going to a toy store. Do you know the way? Mommy asked me to ask you for directions. Oh, uh, sure. No problem, Katie. You wouldn't want to get lost, would you? No, wait, let me tell you about a time when I did get lost. I went shopping with my mummy at the mall and my mother accidentally wandered off to the ladies section and I was left alone in the toy department. Uh, you mean you wandered off. You should always stay with your mom, Katie. Well, actually, I'll tell you what happened. I was kidnapped by little green spacemen and they dropped me in the toy section of the store. Hmm. You should tell the truth, Katie. How did you find your mommy? Well, this kind lady, she at the lost and found, she called mommy over the intercom. Well, that's what happened before. But today we're going to the toy store and I've saved up my allowance and I'm going to buy a new doll. Can you tell me how to get there? Oh, yes, I can. Well, first you turn left at the fourth stoplight. Then you go past the big white house on the right and you go past the hamburger place on the left and there it is. And if you see Wally Smart, you've gone too far. Oh, okay, okay, great. Let me see if I got that right. Go through eight stop sign, past the little yellow house and then through the hamburger place and get a big juicy hamburger and then on to Wally Smart to buy a new dress. No, no, Susie, not a yellow house. Oh, I remember. Turn out the pizza place. Oh, I'm so confused. I got a better idea. Why don't you and your mom follow me? I'll show you the way. Would you, Bonnie? Oh, that would be wonderful. Could we stop at the pizza place? <laughs> well, we'll see, Katie. Come on, let's go. The story of Jesus is the greatest story. And here's a song about it. Let's sing it together. It's the greatest story ever told. It's the greatest mystery to unfold. God made man, placed him in perfection. Mankind turned to go his own direction. Oh no! Oh no! What are we gonna do? Oh no! We are through. There was no hope for me or you. But God sent his son to save us. So what a gift he gave us. If we believe, if we receive. We
of the Bible are not fairy tales. They're written so you and I will not fail. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Read it and see. Oh, yes. It's powerful to me. The Bible is a living history. God sent his son to save us. So what a gift he gave us. If we believe, if we receive, we The main character in The Greatest Story is Jesus, and here's Pastor Jerry to tell us about him. Morning, boys and girls. I'm going to draw the best word you've ever seen in all your life. Watch this word. It spells something, someone's name. I think you've got an idea already whose name I am doing for you. Hmm, letter S. Whoa, what's that spell? Can you see? J-E-S-U-S spells Jesus. That's right, Jesus. Well, let me tell you a little story about Jesus. It all started a long time ago, right outside the city of Bethlehem. Remember that story? There was somebody appeared in the sky to some shepherds, somebody very big, and they were angels. And the angels appeared. Let's maybe make a little sheep down here, eh? eh? He's kind of a fluffy little character. There he is. He doesn't know what's happened. A big angel appeared, and it came to the shepherds, and the, and the angel said, if you go to a nearby town, you'll find a baby born. This baby will be called Jesus, and he'll be a savior. Well. What's a savior? Someone that came to save us. Well, Jesus did some wonderful things, didn't he? I'm going to draw him here on a hill, and he's touching a man's eyes that were, he couldn't see. He was blind, this man. And Jesus just touched him, and he could see just like that, like as if he'd never been blind. What a savior this Jesus was. Oh, but he came to do more than just save us from our sickness. Oh, but look what this big green thing is. Yeah, you know, it's a serpent, a snake. Remember how the devil came to Adam and Eve and how he deceived them? And they listened and they disobeyed and they did a little three-letter word. Look what I'm going to draw. Yeah, they sinned. We've all sinned, the Bible says. We all need a savior from our sins. The Bible says that all of us have come short. Well, how did Jesus come to be our savior? You watch what I'm going to draw right here. This is how he was our savior. Remember how they took them outside of the city and they put them on a cross and they nailed those nails into his hands? Oh, ah, he's not being a savior. He's dying. Don't die, Jesus. Oh, but boys and girls, he had to die. He had to give his life. He had to shed his blood for our sins. That was the only way he could be our savior. Then remember something else happened. Remember how they took him and they put him in a tomb. Remember that tomb? Oh, it was cold and dark and 
they took him off the cross. He had died there on the cross, and they rolled that stone in front of the tomb, and Jesus was dead. But look, boys and girls, the stone is rolled away, and the tomb is empty. He's not on the cross, and he's not in the tomb. Where is he? Jesus is alive. He came back from the dead alive. Wow. You know, we can know Jesus today in our lives. We can have him forgive our sins, all the wrong things. That's what he did for us on that cross. Maybe you'd like to pray right where you are right now today, right in your living room or in the kitchen or in your bedroom. It doesn't matter. All you have to do is pray this simple little prayer with me. Let's pray right now. Dear Jesus, please forgive me for my sins. I've done some bad things. Lord Jesus, I thank you that you love me so much that you died on the cross for my sins so that I could be forgiven. Please come into my heart right today, right here, right now. Amen.